Tom Jones, I thank you. At Straight Up 7 o'clock, you're in tune to WVOF 88.5 FM in Fairfield, Connecticut. This is The Upper Room with Joe Kelly. And our next guest, a really dear friend of ours, and uh, a few weeks ago, he was so kind to call us up in the middle of uh, our Michael Jackson tribute, and uh, he alluded to the brand new record that he is ready to drop and has dropped on us called Life. He was a member of Frankie Beverly and Mays for three decades playing bass and and just uh, a great, great performer and wonderful musician and guy. His name is Robin Dewey, and we welcome Robin in between all the busyness of promoting the new record and, and the CD release party tomorrow night up in Oakland. So how you doing, brother? Good, man. Good. Excited about getting this new product out, man. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you've got Life, which is... Uh, going to be tomorrow night the cd release party at the prestigious yoshi's see we're on the east coast i've never been to yoshi's and even i know about but yoshi's. you know about it huh? oh yeah yeah <laughs> so so tell us about uh choosing yoshi's and, and bringing your band over there well you know uh i did my first cd release party at at, at it was was kimball's kimball's east it was uh, actually between kimball's and yoshi's where all the acts went you know and Kimball's closed down a couple of years, which left just Yossi's, uh, other than if you went to, like, the theater, the Paramount, or the Fox. But Yossi's is definitely the spot where where all the jazz and the contemporary artists go. And it's just the perfect place to premiere this, man. It's, it's a nice size. It's about 340 people. Great lighting, great sound in there, uh, and, and just... Uh, the, the, the perfect place to do this, and I'm really excited about getting it done there. And then it's at home, you know. It's it's fun playing it at home in front of your hometown people, you know. Yeah, for the particulars, uh, those out in the Bay Area in Oakland, uh, Yoshi's Jazz Club is located at 510 Embar Cadero West. I know, I'm kind of slow on saying that, but yeah, Embar Cadero West. Yeah, yeah Jack <laughs> London Square, uh, West Coast time, eight o'clock. And you can go to Yoshi's, Y-O-S-H-I-S dot com and, uh, and get your tickets. And the phone number there, 510-238-9200. Better yet, you also can go to uh, our guest Robin Dewey's official website, blaze2.com, B-L-A-I-S-E-T-W-O dot com. And uh, they've got all the ordering information, the links just about everywhere. You can get life, which is is an outstanding record. Yeah, I just have to say you better hurry up because it's going out fast. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. But people uh, can do digital downloads too at some of these sites, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. CD Baby. I think they're they're going that way too. So, yeah, 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 the, yeah. At least the option. Well, I mean, I meant the um, the the CD party is going out fast. No, the the CD just hit the store. Right. It's going, there's plenty of those to go around. Please go out and buy it. There's plenty of that going on. And, uh, yeah, they're all over the Internet at your Best Buys and CD Babies and Amazons.com. You know, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just out there in the world now, you know. Yeah, Robin Dewey, tremendous musician, and you'll hear uh, on, on all these songs. And we're going to play one of them right now. And late, I drove down here about an hour and 15 minutes away, and traffic wasn't too bad, but it's Labor Day and, you know, people out there. We're we're just about the end of rush hour. Heavy traffic leads off the record, and uh, man, you bring the funk to this one. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, how how about the bass? Uh, before we get into heavy traffic, what what bass are you playing on this record? Heavy traffic. Actually, I'm playing both bases. You know, heavy traffic is is um, it's funny. You know, that song was some songs you have planned out. Some songs come at the last minute. Some songs that just you know you're gonna do them. That song was song just came. And actually, I'm playing everything on that sound, pretty much except for the drums and the horn. Okay. So I'm playing the keyboards, I'm, I'm playing the bottom bass, and then I'm playing my uh, tenor bass, which is my top bass, which is, I call it tenor because I string it differently. It's like uh, I'm kind of venturing a little bit in, 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 into guitar range, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So the, it, it's, uh, the, the, the pitch is just a little higher than the regular bass, but not quite as high as guitar, but, you know, and not as high as a, as a piccolo bass. But So it's, uh, we call it tenor bass. It's like, basses are E, D, A, I'm sorry, E, D, A, G. 
That's wrong. I'm just. <laughs> That's <laughs> It's <all right>. been <laughs> a long. <laughs> what is it? E A D G. So I string my my tenor bass uh, A D G C. So it's it, it's like a string higher, you know. So like it's, it gives you more melodic kind of places to go, you know. All right, we'll let the music do the talk on a great guest right here, Mr. Robin Dewey. This is from Life, and we'll find out about specifically uh, really important meaning to life and, and Robin's life. Uh, this is Heavy Traffic right here on the Upper Room, and that is the lead-off track from the new album from Mr. Robin Dewey called Life, and uh, he'll be performing a CD release party for Life is tomorrow night at Yoshi's Jazz Club in Oakland, California. Uh, showtime, 8 o'clock on the West Coast. So, uh, Robin, who, who do you have in your band uh, tomorrow night? Uh, there's a bunch of local cats, you know, probably nobody nobody would really know, um, but there's, there's some good musicians. You know, I, 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 I would rather have a bunch of guys who are just willing to get down and dirty, you know, than to have a bunch of divas who don't want to get their fingernails dirty, you know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> So we got, I got some guys uh, that's been with me, man. Some of these guys have been with me for my whole solo career, career about five years now, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. uh, Actually, I got a drummer that's uh, uh, Omari Williams. He plays with Boney James. Uh, he's about the most one out there right now. Uh, actually, I have some, uh, some guest vocalists that are going to be singing. Uh, which I tried to get Tony Lindsay. He actually sang on the title cut, Life, but, you know, Tony sings for Carlos. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, we know Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. Tony's going to be in Vegas uh, this week, you know, so he won't be able to make the gig. Oh, so he's back singing with Carlos. Yeah, he's back singing with Carlos, yeah. So um, I had to get some other vocals, but, 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 but some great vocals in their own right, you know, so mm -hmm. we got a little surprise for people. We actually played last night at this Cuban restaurant in, in a place called Baleo here, and we got a chance to test a few things out, you know what I mean? So I, so I, so I think we're going to be in good shape tomorrow. Uh, Robin's website, B L A I S E T W O dot com. Uh, his record company as well, Blaze Two Records, and uh, Robin Dewey's Life CD available through the website. Also, there's plenty of links on there. You also uh, can pick up Do It Dewey, and I still got the hat you sent me. Oh, do you great? Yeah, yeah. And you're about the only one that's left. No. <laughs> so, so I should have kept a good one for myself. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked about, you, you mentioned uh, when you called up during the Michael Jackson tribute a couple months ago, uh, the meaning of life and, and uh, just the journey you've been on, uh, survivor of cancer and going strong. And, and take us to the, to the moments, uh, again, uh, when you found I had cancer and, and, uh, yeah, those and, and getting back and recording and, and just being alive. What's it been like? Man, those are times. You know, I was, uh, my wife had worked. She had won a trip to New York, so she was gone, you know, to the city, and uh, I was at home at my studio working, ironically, on this on the title track, Life, and I just wasn't feeling well. She kept calling home, and I, she said, why are you in bed? I said, well, I think I got a flu or something, you know, and I was just sweating crazy, you know, wringing wet sweat where you got to change your clothes, change the sheets, and eventually she came home, and this continued, um... I went to my doctor because I had a lump underneath my arm, and so uh, and uh, he sent me right to the hospital to get like an ultrasound, and they really couldn't see anything. And but in the meantime, I was having these little uh, attacks. One time I had a, a fever, 104. I went to the emergency. Another time I had uh, uh, hiccups where I was losing my breath, couldn't breathe. That's when they kept me in the hospital. And they did all kind of tests, man, bone biopsy. I mean, they had about five different type of doctors working for me, and they just, everything was coming out kind of clean until finally they did a bone biopsy on, on this lymph node underneath my arm, and that's when they discovered it was uh, lymphoma. And it was the aggressive T cell, because by that time, my stomach was swollen to about three times its size. The lymph nodes were all crazy. Uh, I was in bad shape, man. It was stage three. It was all over my body. And uh, so the guy prescribed uh, a, a regimen of chemotherapy, and the chemo kicked right in and worked, you know. I mean, after the first chemo thing, he said, okay, it's going to work. And I went through eight treatments of chemo. I uh, lost all my hair. I lost about 40 to 50 pounds, man. And uh, But, you know, now I'm on the other side of that. That's right. I'm actually glad I went through that, man. You know what I mean? Because it's a life-changing experience. I mean, it really changed 
my whole everything. I mean, I got reborn again. I was baptized, man. You know, I go to church. I try and do the right thing. I just, your totem pole changes. What used to be important is not really important anymore. You know, and it just flip-flops everything. It makes you, it's a, it's definitely an eye-opener, man. You know what I mean? So, in a way, I'm kind of happy that it, I don't wish cancer on anybody, but sometimes it takes something dramatic like that to just open your eyes and get you back on the track where you need to be getting, you know, where you need to be, you know. Our special guest right now, bassist extraordinaire, true legend in the business, Mr. Robin Dewey. You know him uh, from his solo work, Dewey Dewey, and, and the latest life and also the bases with Frankie Beverly and Mays over uh, 30 years. And uh, tomorrow night at Yoshi's in Oakland, California, he'll be performing with his uh, band and talking to his fans and bring some extra money. Independent musician right there. Blaze 2 Records. Uh, and pick up Life at the Party. And uh, you can go to Yoshi's.com, Blaze2.com. Hey, we got to get into some more music, Robin. Yeah. Yeah, Life yeah. Gets in the Way. And you mentioned... Uh, Tony Lindsay, Tony uh, Lindsay singing lead great, on here from Carlos Santana. Great human being, man. Great human and great artist, too, man. Right. So a lot, a lot of great music coming from the Bay Area. And uh, we'll talk about more about life and Robin Dewey. But first, this is the title track, Life Gets in the Way. Mr. Robin Dewey here on The Upper Room with Joe Kelly and W.B. Dewey playing keys and bass and guitars and all that. And uh, Tony Lindsay on lead vocals there. Life Gets in the Way. That's from Life, our special guest right now. Robin Dewey coming up in a little while. We'll have a live performance in the studio from Adam Curry. We're pumped about that. He's performing in Norwalk this weekend, and uh, we'll be hearing some great live music here at WVOF. So, Robin, you guys, uh, going back in time, we were talking about some of the, some of the days with Frankie Beverly and Mays, and, yeah. uh, you know, I, I was telling you before, you know, once in a while, you know, I love video soul and everything like that and catching those old clips with you you guys when i had the blood when i had the big hair <laughs> yeah that's right yeah a little bit different now but yeah right. you, you had the fro kicking pretty good yeah right uh tell us the the early days founding of uh frankie beverly and Mays and and why you guys for 30 years and, and continue to this day although you're not a member of the band uh so strong on stage well it, you know, it's like the old school, man. It's like, you know, even when I start, first started my solo career, Ron Smith, the guitar player, played with Mays. He said, man, it's, going, it's hard to get these guys to rehearse out here. They just, it's not like back in the day, you know. And and, and I, when I started trying to get guys together and try to rehearse to learn some music, I, I found out to be true. Guys just didn't want to rehearse to really sharpen what they were going to do on stage. They just prefer, you know, and, my, and I was telling the guys, well, you know, I'm not playing just to jam and, F. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a blues and C. This is actual song where it's actual parts and changes, and which goes back to what you were saying. Uh, back in those days, we got together because we liked it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, we liked playing. It's like going to the gym and playing some basketball. I mean, you go there because you like to play. You know, we like to play, and and uh, that's where we come from. We came from playing. In the clubs, I can remember doing six sets a night, man, doing three or four sets, getting in the car and driving somewhere and doing an after-hours gig. And we put a lot of time in. We the, the, the first band, the original band, we put a lot of time in with the people, which is why they, they called Mesa People Band. We were in all the record stores, all the clubs, all the bookstores, all the parks. We just really bonded with people everywhere we went you know so so during the the peak uh you know radio playing everything and, and yeah. the tours how, how many days out of a year were you guys on tour back in the day a lot we stayed on the road we mm -hmm. you know we toured a lot we uh overseas uh, uh in, in, in the states we did a lot of i, I would say like seven, eight months out of the year, you know, and we were on the road. And then there were periods where we didn't work for a year or two years. And then um, a couple of years before I, I, I left the band, it was down to just doing the summer months, three, you know, three months in the summer. But actually, I hear now they're working a lot, you know. Maybe I left too soon. <laughs> get, get some of that cash back, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh -huh. they actually working a lot, you know what I mean. But the guys, you know, Frank's getting a little old now, right. so, you know. I don't know how his energy's doing, but the, the guys are the guys are working a lot now. You know. Let, let me ask you about uh, Frank's guitar on stage. A unique instrument that he plays, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, well, what kind of guitar is that? That's uh, the little violin looking guitar. That's a Turner. It's a guy here named Turner that, that, that made those guitars. He didn't make a lot of them, you know. And, and Frank liked it, and he's, uh, he's, he's, wow, he's had that guitar for a long time, you know. Kind of reminds me of Paul McCarthy's bass, you know what I mean? The little yeah, violin shaped yeah. kind of guy, you know. Exactly, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Frankie Beverly and Mays, of course, some great memories right there. But, of course, Robin Dewey, his latest CD, Life, and uh, he's a survivor of cancer going strong. His CD release party tomorrow night in Oakland, California, the Bay Area, where there's so much great music. And uh, you'll be performing there at Yoshi's Jazz Club, which is at 510 Embarcadero West in Jack London Square tomorrow night, 8 o'clock on uh, Pacific Time at Yoshi's.com and uh, RobinDeweyBlaze2.com. You know, I was uh, checking out Nelson Nelson George. I don't know if you caught the segment when he went out to your area and uh, highlighted the... Uh, Oakland and, and San Francisco, all the spots out there and all the music and did did you catch that? No, no, it's it's it's, it's so it's a you know it's it's a lot out here, man. You know that's one thing I think that's why a lot of I mean I was talking to a promoter and he was saying you know the Bay Area had more concerts you know as far as record wise than any other place in the world. It's it's so much to do here. It's it is so big. That it's a lot. It's a lot for people to do. You know what I mean. And um, which is why I like kind of back east a little better, down south, because you know when you come places, people come out to see you. They don't quite have the choices that we do out here. You know what I mean. So when, mm-hmm. when, when people come to town, you can pretty assure yourself that you're going to get a nice crowd, a nice following. But but yeah, I mean it's a lot out here. It's a lot of great music, a lot of great musicians, a lot of great venues out here. You know. Yeah, that I mean, we have actually yeah. what. Two football teams, about three baseball teams, uh, some soccer. <laughs> it could go on and on and on, you know. So, so who you root, you, you root for the Warriors? Uh, no, I'm not no. a Warrior guy. I'm a Laker guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Nick guy. So, you are know. you right? Or well, once, once we get good, I'll have some some trash to talk to you. But right okay, now, okay. You... Well, you know, we we the big dogs. On yeah, the block that's right. right <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you tonight <laughs> on that. Uh, of course, you you love basketball and play. Every moment you get, I used to, but I got a bad hip now. So you know, I'm happy just if I can walk on stage and walk off without without a limp. You know, right, I mean? right. Uh, Robin Dewey, D U H E, uh, his website blaze two dot com b l a i s e t w o dot com, and tell us the meaning about uh, Blaze Two. Blaze Two is um, I, I, I wanted to. To do something, you know, where I could have a, 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 a channel to, you know, to do my music, and maybe possibly my, my dream is not just to do me; it's to do other things. I just haven't had the opportunity to, to look for other artists, and not only artists, musical artists, but I and, and I, I see Blaze too as being uh, uh, for poets, for 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 people that draw, you know, as, as well as musicians, you know. But uh, it's Blaze is, is my middle name. Oh, it's okay. where Blaze, it's not have nothing to do with Mays or nothing. And the two came because when I went to get my domain, somebody already had Blaze. So I had to put a two on it, Blaze 2, which is uh, where, where that came from. But, it, but yeah, it, it's, it's my middle name, uh, and, and I'm, my father's from New Orleans, so I'm, I guess I'm one of them Creole kind of guys. Blame that on the, the the technology as far as the the you know the people even studios people got studios in their home people don't go to major studios no more I mean uh, the radios changed it's just a whole other business out here now you know and uh, Blaze Two will be uh, in attendance tomorrow night Robin Dewey throwing down Blaze Two will be in full effect tomorrow night that's right. <laughs> At Yoshi's, the great Yoshi's Jazz Club in the Jack London Square in Oakland, California, 510 Embar Cadero West, 8 o'clock showtime, and uh, bring some money. The the CD will be right there. You can meet uh, Robin Dewey, really great guy. And uh, you got to come on the show uh, towards the end of the year. We'd love to have you on again, I'm sure. Oh, I'd love to, man. Yeah. yeah it, it, you know, it's always a pleasure talking to you, Joe. It really is, man. And, and have fun tomorrow night. 
should, should be a great time. Yeah, we will. We're all looking forward to it. I mean, I'm just, it's the closer we get to that day, it's just the more excited I get, you know. Yeah, after, after doing uh, three or four interviews in one, in one day and get moving on, so I'm, I'm sure you, you want to get that party and play live tomorrow night. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we're getting geeked up for it now. <laughs> right, right. So we're going to go out with, uh, Say It, which is a really great track off the record. Let's just stretch it. That was, was, was thought up because behind my band. It's like it, we was going through some things, and I was like, well, you guys, are you guys with me or what? You know what I mean? So if you are, say it. Let me know it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's kind of inspiration behind that song. Always tough working with other people, I'm sure, sometimes. Yeah, man. You know, musical expression, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so this is another standout track from Robin Dewey's Life. So continued uh, great health and uh, positivity you're always bringing us. So thanks, Robin. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate uh, it, man. All right. Yoshi's tomorrow.